Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. And I wanted to go over a couple of little quick tricks dealing with art layers, art layers and copying and pasting. So you can have your line art and color art copied and pasted to a totally different layer without missing some of the parts. All right, first up, I'm gonna grab my pencil and I'm gonna hold down my O key and let's see, drag this to the right, get a little larger pencil here. Um, so I've got my pencil, but a couple of things I wanna change out. Um, one, if you look over here in Tool Properties, I have two things here. I've got Trim Extra Lines, I'm gonna turn off for a minute. And I've also got Automatically Create Color Art. So what I wanna show you is if I decide to Draw a simple little circle like that, that's great. Um, but trim extra lines, I'll turn this on. Um, I can come here and do that. And so it gets rid of those little extra points, almost like a little automatic cutter. Now the problem with both of these, if I go to my drawing view, and I'm on line art right now, but if I go to color art, there's nothing that's showing up. So if I go back to camera view, I'm gonna turn on this other button that says automatically create color art, all right? So I've got my trim extra lines and automatically create color art. Let's try that one more time. Make sure I'm on my line art drawing this. So I basically said, can you automatically create color art? All right, so if we go to drawing, get that drawing there, come there, there is the color art, all right? Now, Here's the fun part. Let's go back to camera view. And I'm gonna to go to my select tool. And if I decide, grab my little line art here. If I grab this, um, I can see that. If I go to color art, I can grab that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and fill that in. Grab paint, grab a little color here. All right. So if we look at our drawing again, color art has our fill, line art has the line, okay? The problem comes up when we grab our selection tool, if we go to line art, all right? Now let's come down here, take a look at our little preferences here. Everything is good. So I'm on line art. If I decide to scale this, all of a sudden the color art is left behind. All right, I'm gonna undo that, Command Z, Control Z on PC. But in the select tool, if we come over here and do apply to line art and color art, and I try this once more and scale this, now they both move at the same time. All right, so let's get rid of all of these. And we'll do one extra little thing here. Let's grab my pencil tool. I'm on my line art layer. Let's say, for example, that I decide to make a little egg character here. So let's make the body. Well, let's undo that. Let me get my black color there. Great. All right, so we'll make the body. All right, and I can also make the leg. Now, remember, we're doing that little trim off extra end, so that's why we have that going on. And now I can go to my color art. I'll grab the color white. Uh, I still own my pencil, but if I hold down the I key on my keyboard, I temporarily get the paint tool. All right, cool. Got that going on. And now I'm going to go back to line art. I can grab this leg, uh, I'll copy, Command C, and go ahead and paste, Command V. Let's bring this over here. If I bring this over, oh great, it actually copied both the line art and the color art, all right? Um, in addition to that, can I, I'm just gonna delete that one. Can I select this, hold down my Option key, Alt on PC, click on this and drag it over. Let go of the mouse, let go of the keyboard, okay, and again, it's bringing not only the line art, because if you look at the drawing, line art, also the color art. 
All right. So let's go to line art. I'll go ahead and select this. And in my tool properties, I'm on my select tool right now. I'm just going to flip this. So operations, just flip that horizontally. Great. Let's move that over there. Making our little egg character. And now if I go to my node view, if I decide to add a couple of layers like body, we'll say add, and we'll do front leg, add and back leg, and add and close. So we have all of these here. And just pull those in. And what I'll do is turn on my light table, come down here to the bottom. And this way, got my select tool, I can grab the body. Now, if you notice, I'm just not grabbing the edge here. I'm just kind of clicking and dragging through the middle. So I'll cut go to the body layer, and this is what the light table helps you. You can actually see what's going on. Great. Um, come back to the original drawing. Let's grab that front leg. We'll cut, Command X, Control X on PC. And we'll paste that. And last but not least, grab the other leg. Cut that one, go to the back leg. All right, so the way that happens, again, is because we've made a couple of changes. Like using our select tool, if we come over here, we're playing around with uh, apply to line art and color art. All right. Um, and when we're drawing, we're using this little tool here that says automatically create color art. So new strokes are being applied whenever you draw that line art. All right. So if you enjoyed this tip, please be sure to like and subscribe. Click the bell so you can see when we're going to have new tutorials. And last but not least, on March 12th, we're doing a mini workshop. It's a 90 minute workshop, uh, pretty much an hour. And then we're going to be doing q and I'll take you through step by step how to do some simple parent child rigging. So if you are brand new to Harmony or if the node view frightens you, then this is definitely the class for you because I'll be showing you not only how the hierarchy works as far as rigging out a basic little stick character, but I'm going to show you how to make sense of all the different nodes and movements and how we can do parent-child rigging and even save out the character and even animate the character. So sign up now. It's on March 12th. It'll be from noon to 1.30 Eastern Standard Time. Uh, there is a fee, but it's actually cheaper than my hourly rate. So go ahead and check it out. And the link is in the description. All right. Have a good one.